Hello everyone, this is Candy, the 614 Stitcher, and today is Friday, September the 6th, 2024, and this is my Floss Tube episode 127. I would like to say hello and welcome to any new subscribers. I hope that you will stick around and let me enable you with a project or two. And for my returning friends, thank you so very much for coming back each and every time that I do upload a video. Um, it has been a little while since I have come to you. Um, I had the video that I posted, um, I think, I don't know, a week ago or so that I had forgotten to upload uh, before I left on my big trip, on my big adventure. Um, and so thank you so very much for checking that video out. Um, I know <laughs> some of my friends actually texted me and was like, I'm confused. What's going on? Um, and it was because I filmed it right before I left to go on my trip, but then uploaded it after I came back from my trip. So it was a whole thing. And I, and I apologize, you know, things, time just got away from me. And by the time I realized that it was just too much and then I was like okay I'll do it when I get back and then when I got back it was a whole lot going on and so anyway um I had a fabulous time as many of you know I went to um Portland Oregon first and stayed with Carolyn Zook um while before I went on my Alaskan cruise we had an awesome time um, it was um, great to be in another Stitcher's home to see how they organize things. She has a very good organi organization along with her planning. I think it goes her planning and her organizing go hand in hand and so it was great to see how someone else organizes their stash and all the things because Lord knows we have a lot of things. Um, we went to Cannon Beach. She took me to this, excuse me, this restaurant. Um, when we first got there, and now I can't think of what the name of it was, but man, they had the biggest onion rings I have ever seen. They were so delicious. And she, she took good care of me, you all. So I want y'all to know she took good care of me. Coffee every morning. It was great. Um, we had a great time. We went to um, Cannon Beach, which I had not heard of before, but, um, you know, it was great. The water, I'm a Atlantic girl, so I am used to warm uh, ocean water, and the Pacific is not warm at all. Like, it was ice cold, so it was, that was a, a difference for me, um, to realize about the the difference in the temperatures of the water so um but it was fun it was a it was a nice day so that was good um the sun was shining and i'll uh, put up some pictures either here or um at the end probably more here um as i go along talking about different things um and then we went to Acorns and Threads on the same day that we, well, no. No, we, we met everyone at the hotel um, that night and had dinner. To, um, yeah, we had cocktails um, together. And then um, the next day we all met up and went to Acorns and Threads, which was phenom phenomenal. Um it is a wonderful shop. They have a great stitching area. Um, it's a huge room, actually. Um, and I'll, again, put pictures in. I, I have a couple of pictures of that. Um, and we stitched and shopped all day. It was wonderful. Um, I picked up some things that I'll be sharing in my investments. Um, and then I got to meet um, Debbie. Um, and Phyllis, and there's a few other people that now their names are escaping me. Oh, I, we met, I met everyone that is, was going on the cruise. Well, everyone except for one person that was going on the cruise with us. So, Miss Margaret was there, um, 
I met Miss Gwen. Um, so it was really fun. Um, I kitted up a project that I'll show you, um, and it, it's a new start also, so I'll share that um, in when I go through it all. And then Saturday came. I was so happy with myself. So Friday, we all, um, all of us, left Portland and um, took the train. All of us that were going on the cruise took the train to um, Seattle, Washington, where we were gonna catch the ship for the cruise. Um, and that was my first time being on a train. So it was very uh, enlightening. I grew up with Amtrak coming past our house in the morning every morning at five o'clock in the morning Amtrak would come past our house and it sounded like they were going a hundred miles like zoom in the in the train would be gone but when you're sitting on the train it doesn't feel like you're going as it's as fast as that so it was uh I don't know that I like the train. Um, I get motion sickness. Um, and so I actually took two Dramamine um, in order to be on the train because I did know that it would be really rocky um, on the train. But it was a fun ride. And, you know, four hours on the train, I was able to get some stitching done, which was great. Um, thank God for Dramamine because <laughs> I probably would have been like, knocked out sleep um otherwise because um all of the shaking and the moving and all of that so um so we went oh kathleen nope i didn't meet kathleen until we got to portland uh, until we she was in portland but she we met for drinks so kathleen which is sticker noodle stitch um we sat together on the train and um, stitched um, and talked, which was very good. I had met her at um, another retreat last year. Then we were at um, the Stitch New Jersey retreat this year. Um, so we've developed a really good friendship. And so it was good seeing her again in person. Um, when we got to Seattle, we... Me and Michelia had we stayed in another hotel, um, and then we got coffee. We ran over to the other hotel, and I, for the very first time, got to experience the ordering of an Uber, which I am super excited about because I, I um, was like, I, I don't want strangers picking me up. <laughs> I don't want to be picked up by a stranger um, and driven around, but. Um, in watching and being with Michelia and the other ladies in the group that use Uber, I was like, okay, put on your big girls and just do this because I knew I was going to need that service coming back um, from the trip. So um, I managed it and I was able to do it and I was super excited about myself uh, for myself about what I was accomplishing because, you know, everybody uses Uber and Lyft and all of that. And I'm, I feel like I'm the last holdout or something. Um, we got on the ship Saturday morning and it was magical. If you ever want to see Alaska, I would definitely suggest a, um, cruise. Um, you get to see more um, you get to experience more. The, these trips for me have become more about experiencing what um, the experience more than just saying, oh, I went to blah, blah, blah. Um, so the experience of going to Alaska was very positive. I really um, didn't have... I never thought that I would ever go to Alaska. It just seemed like so far away and so out of my um, range. Um, but cruising has allowed me to be able to ex have that experience. And so it was great. Um, we went to Sitka, Juneau, Isle of 
Isle of and Ketchikan. Isle of Straits. Isle of Straits and Ketchikan. And I have never seen so many trees in all of my life. Um, and the hills and the clouds coming down over the heat over the mountain hills mountains the clouds coming down over the mountains the clouds literally being on the ground um, over the water it was it was fantastic it was magical and I am so thankful that I got the to experience it I do want to go back. Um, I when I think of cruising, I think of uh, tropical sun and you know warm weather. Um, so again, Alaska was never on my radar um, because in my mind, Alaska is cold all the time and snowy and all of that, and it was none of what I had the perception of in my mind. Um, it was warmer than what I had expected, um, and it was due probably to the time of the year that we went. Um, we were in one of the ports, and people literally came back because the sun was shining. It was so warm. People came back and um, were on the pool, in the, on the deck, um, you know, enjoying the sunshine and the warmth. Um, so global warming is a thing because uh, you wouldn't expect it to be that warm. I did not expect it to be that warm um, in Alaska. Um, I took all these wintery clothes and ended up wearing a hoodie and had to buy two short sleeve t-shirts so that I could um, not burn up. Um, that's how warm I was. So. Um, you definitely have to pay attention to the forecast when you go. So, um, we stitched um, most days, well, every day. Um, and then at night we stitched and it was just, it was a fabulous time. If in, you in the future, I know Ms. Shelia, um announces them when she's going on a cruise and you know, other stitchers are welcome to come along. If you ever get the opportunity, please, please, please um, try to go on one of these cruises. She is an avid cruiser, um, and so when she picks some place to go, I I know it's going to be some place that's going to be nice to visit um, because she has cruised everywhere, um, and so. You know, I trust um, that what she is per, um, recommending would be something that I would want to experience. So if you, um, I do know that there may be another one coming up in two years. Um, so, you know, listen out for that. It's going to be, um, I'm hoping that it'll be very I know it'll be very good. Um, I'm already excited about it and starting to save my little pennies. So uh, be listening out for that for the next uh, time. There might be a Stitcher's Cruise. And let me explain. It's not really a Stitcher's Cruise. We all get together um, and we book our own trip. We book our own flights. Michelia does not do any of that kind of work. Um, she does, uh, she did, like, keep in contact with all of us that were going. She sent out informational emails about, you know, what the weather would be like, what what kind of um, clothing maybe we should pack or stuff like that. But she doesn't coordinate or organize the cruise. It, it is your responsibility to do all your own booking and all of that. We all just gathered together as stitchers um, once we got on the cruise. Um, and it, it works out so well. This is the second time that I've done it, and I will continue to do it as, as long as um, I know about it because it, it is a wonderful experience to have. Okay, so... Um, Oh, so I ended up going back um, because of flight 
flight uh, issues coming back to Columbus, I ended up going back to Portland once we but once we got off the ship. And I went. Uh, let me back up. I went to Juno. I got off on an excursion in Juno, um, and it was a scenic excursion. So you got to see the scenery. I'm big into plants and flowers and all of that. So it was good for me to see that. Um, and then I went to a salmon hatchery, which was really different. Um, I love salmon. It's a whole different thing when you see them swimming around in big tanks. Um, but it was um, different than what I thought it would be. And then I went um, on another excursion and that was in Ketchikan, and I went to, um, we visited all of the, well, not all, but most of the totem poles. I thought that was very interesting. Um, it was a totem pole excursion, and um, they told you the history about the totem poles and all of the um, reasonings and what they meant and what different symbols meant and all of that, and it was very interesting also. Um, one of the ladies went on a whale watch, um, and the whale was like 20 feet from the boat and came up out of the water. Um, another lady went on, um, a dog sled ride. Um, so there are many things to do, um, on these, on, on an Alaskan cruise that you wouldn't normally, um, probably be able to do, um, if you went. To Alaska to visit. Let me say it that way. Um, it was it was phenomenal. I, I definitely would like to do it again um, and maybe visit a couple of different ports so that I could get a full experience of Alaska. But if you ever um, get the opportunity, I would definitely suggest it. It it is just I'm a city girl, so to see so many so much green and trees and plants and bald eagles and seals and things that I would never experience um, had I not gone. So I truly loved it. And then I came back to Portland and um, I did get did get to meet Miss Miss Janine of um, Acorns and Threads and I also met Stitch Roadie Anna um, while I was at Acorns and Threads and so that was fun. Um, and then we went back to Carolyn's house. I slept for four hours. I got up. I started stitching and I didn't, I went to the airport at three o'clock in the morning <laughs> and started my trek home. Um, it was more than a notion. I, I will be looking for better flights if I ever have to go that way again um, because it was crazy uh, being at the airport at 3 o'clock in the morning and there was other people there with me like people that were on the cruise were also at the airport at 3 o'clock in the morning on Sunday morning um, so the time difference is something um, because it's three hours time difference and Alaska is actually four hours time difference for me. So it was, it was amazing. Um, I kept waking up at four o'clock in the morning because it would be seven o'clock here. <laughs> um, but it was good. It was a good trip. I had a fabulous time. I would, I'm definitely going to do it again. I ate some of the best food, you know, food on cruise ships man oh man oh man um i actually tried escargot for the first time um and it was good i don't know that i would eat it again but it was it was tasty um it was a fabulous trip so again if you ever get the opportunity to go to alaska i highly 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 recommend it so now we're going to go ahead um and jump down into my um what I've been working on because, um, believe it or not, I have been stitching. Um, when I first got back that Sunday, I slept the majority of the day. Um, and then I, which 
in watching uh, Miss Shelia talk about it on their video, the Sunshine Stitchers video, I understood why I felt the way that I felt because I was very down in the dumps um, when I came back. Um, when I came back, I was excited. Albert was so happy to see me. Like that has that was the longest I have ever been away from him, um, and so he was super excited and just, I mean, just wanted all the loving and all the pets, and I, and I was happy to give it to him because I actually really, really missed him a lot. So um, it was hard being away from him for that long. Uh, because, you know, nobody treats them the way that you treat them. So, even though, like, my daughter is here and my son came over, um, it wasn't it wasn't the same. Because I know Albert. <laughs> Look, I'm getting all emotional. Um, because I know Albert. And so, when Albert does this, I know that it means something different. You know, where they don't know him like I do. So, but he was super excited to have me back home. And I was excited to be back home. Um, and then, Monday hit. And I was like, okay. Um, I actually was supposed to go back to work um, on Monday, and I did not. Um, I was exhausted, which was fine. Um, and then I thought, okay, I'm going to get my groove back, and I didn't. And I went a whole week without stitching when I got back. Um, and I was so... Um, it was terrible for me to come off of such a wonderful trip and then just be so down. Um, but in listening to Miss Shelia, it's, it's a normal reaction because you're up on a high and you're having this experience and you're just loving it and loving it and loving it and loving it. And then you got to come back to reality. Um, and reality is can be a bummer. <laughs> um so, you know, but now I've gotten my groove back, you know, I've gotten, got myself together and I've been stitching. So here's what I have been working on. First of all, I had two new starts while we were on the ship and the, um, first new start that I had was I started, so my oldest child my oldest son is um, a Pisces, and so I started, since I was going to be on the water, I started Zodiac Pisces, and it shows the water symbol, and I am doing this on the perforated paper. I have the whole kit. And if you're watching this, Ryan, you'll just know that it's uh, that it's being stitched for you. And here is where, so here is where my start is for that. So I got a lot of um, stitching done on this. I actually put 239 stitches in this. It, I do plan on it being. Um, either a Christmas gift or a birthday gift for him. He does watch my videos, but he won't. He he he's not a surprise surprise person, so it, it it'll be okay. But that's where I am so far. So I'll be working on this um off and on through um either Christmas or to his birthday. I'm probably thinking more towards his birthday since he's he is a Pisces um in March. And I am enjoying working on the perforated paper. Um, I did get some tips and tricks while I was on the sh cruise ship from uh, some of the ladies on what to do with the perforated paper. Um, unfortunately, the little magnetic holders that you can use for this, they were on sale and I missed the sale. Um, so I'll have to just keep watching for it. But, and I actually have one of those for each one of my children. So as I go through the year, I'll be. Um, making each one of them one. And my second. 
Uh, I'm going to have to pause this video. My door is open. Uh, my second uh, new start was what I kitted up at Acorns and Threads. And it is Sumatra Lace by Ink Circles. Okay, I'm going to pause. Sumatra Lace by Ink Circles. And I had wanted to start it at Acorns and Threads, but I just ran out of time. Um, we shopped. I shopped and shopped and shopped and shopped and shopped. And then we went to lunch and then came back. And it seemed like the day just flew by. So by the time I got ready to start it, it was time to go. So that is... Sumatra Lace, and I did fully kit this up at Acorns and Threads, and so let me show you what I purchased. I purchased a 38 count, there's my card, 38 count Legacy Linen, and the name is Sea Serpent, and I am using a Dinky Dyes Miss Molly. So here's the thread. You can't really see that all that well. So here's the thread. It is a variegated gray to purple, purple to gray. And so I thought that would go really nicely. You can actually see it, the gray on here. Um, and I thought that the gray in the floss would make it look more lacy. You know how some lace, it has, um, thicker parts and then thinner parts. And so that's why I chose that color. And I am, again, doing it on a 38 count, which is new to me. This is um, the needle minder that uh, Miss Shulia and Miss Margaret had made for um, for us. And I'll show you some other things that they also um, gave to us while we were on the trip. So those were my two new starts for this past time. I am going to be going over what I did in July. I don't have August. Um, in August, I don't have August stats. Um, I'm actually trying to back in into them um, and so when I come back again um, maybe I'll give you what my stats were um, for August so those were my two new starts for the trip now um also Sumatra lace was um used for my AB Singo for the letter I for ink circles. So now I'm going to head into my whips. Um I do have quite a few. Um and they have uh, some of them have double double dipping. That's what I was going for. I'm like, what is going on here? So the first one that I want to share with you is um, it is called Thistles, and it is a Carolyn Manning. And Kate, you are so right when you say that this is such um, that this is a calming mental health piece for you. Carolyn Manning designs like unbelievable. So that is that and here is a picture of where it was before I started working on it on the trip. And here is where I am now. I put in over a thousand. I actually don't know the exact number of stitches that I put in on this. 
um, I know that it was over a thousand and so I counted a thousand stitches um, for it I um, believe that I just had like a few little up here I worked on this while we were on the train because literally you could put in the diamonds and just keep going and going and going um, I did do that to work on while I was on the plane um, going home however I couldn't really work on it the plane was very crowded and I ended up being in a middle seat so I did not get to work on this while I was on the on the plane coming back home um, I also am using uh, oh, this was just on the cruise. It hasn't been called yet for AB Singo. But that is where I am now. I am stitching this on a 20 count Ada. And I am using all of the called for DMC. And I think the name of the Ada is... Um, it's actually a green and now I can't think of what the name of it is and I don't see my card in here okay so that's where I am on my Carolyn Manning um, and when I pick this up for AB Singo I'll just be weaving uh, weaving I'll be putting um, you know stitching all the threads in so I can get these hanging threads done um, but it made it really simple to do this because I just picked the color, picked the diamond, and kept moving. I so enjoy it. So that was for... I took that on the trip and it was also yes I just took that on the trip and it, I put in over a thousand stitches on that project for um, on the trip because I stitched on it while we were on the train then I stitched on it some while we were on the ship like I, I really I stitched on it while I was at Carolyn's it was um, it's a methodical just just stitch the diamonds and move on stitch the diamond and move on stitch the diamond and move on um very very lovely stitching if you ever get an opportunity to stitch a carolyn manning um i highly recommend it so my next project that i used um was for two was twofold i um we're actually having one tonight, which you won't see this by the time we have one. But last Friday, we had a One Dozen Quaker, Bake Me a Quaker Sal um, Zoom call. And I worked on mine. And I also use this for AB Singo. And it is One Dozen Quakers. And it is for the letter Q. I'm sorry, I should have explained. I am participating in uh, the magazine monthly cross-stitch um, challenge for the month of September. We do AB Singo, and I am participating in it. Um, I um, I forgot what I was getting ready to, like it went right out of my head. Um, so as I've been going along, now we're going to start seeing my um, AB Singo projects. So that's what um, One Dozen Quakers um, was for the Q in for Quaker. And here's a picture of where it was when I last shared it. And here is where I am now. So... I, since you have seen this last, I put in the letter, or the number three, I believe the 11 is new, and I brought the border down and across, um, I'm actually going to, well, 
I was going to move the nerge, but I'm not going to. I'm going to work on this motif tonight um, on the Zoom call. Um, and hopefully get that completed tonight. And then I will have um, another big motif here and the border to fill in. I'm still on the fence about the over one stitching. I'm stitching my uh, one dozen Quakers on a 30, 30, huh, a 46 count. Um, solo die. I'm sorry, I can't. Like, my brain just went crazy and didn't. And I'm using different floss from different dyers, but they are all purple. I know this looks really dark. It is a very dark purple um, floss. Um, but some of it looks blue and that, well, this one is blue and purple, but it looks blue because of the, um, the way purple shows up on this camera. So I have here, there should be right here. I think it's right here. Yeah. The letter or the number eight. Um, and there is another motif that goes right here. And so I am actually working on the uh, September slash October portion. I have outlined this motif right here. And so I'm working on the September, October. If you recall, I would like to finish this in October so that if I decide to do the over one stitching, I can do it in November and still finish on time. So that is why I'm moving ahead a little bit. So I need to put in the eight and then there's a, or the eight goes here and then there's a motif right here and finish this one. The, uh, the news, well, if you ever, if you want the, um, if you are thinking about stitching this and want to use the same threads that I did, um, please let me know. I can backtrack and um, let you know which ones they are. Unfortunately, I didn't really keep good record keeping when I, I just picked up a floss and started stitching with it, but I can backtrack it in and, or backtrack and figure out which ones were which. Um, a few of them are cottage garden threads. A few of them are weeks dye works. A few are silks. Um, it just depends on what I felt like when I looked at the motif as to how I or what floss I was going to use when I stitched it. I also use the color and cotton. Um, yeah, it's it's a it's a whole range of things. So that was my AB Singo, the letter Q. My next project I worked on was for my Whipgo, and this Whipgo project was called by. Um, Okay, Queen B Queen is number 12, and that was Fawn's Choice, and that was actually my whip go for August. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. So, for the month of August, I did not separate it out. So, I have been... Um, trying to get myself together to have to do the floss tube but I am such that I have to use notes to do floss tube I can't just wing it um, because I get so discombobulated very easily so I had to write notes so some of these projects are from August some of them are in September it's just the way that it worked out and I just put them down as the way that I was that I you know saw them in my calendar so that's how you'll see one that's from September and one from August. So, but here is the Bee Queen by Tiny Modernist. And here's a picture of what she looked like 
when I picked her up this last time. Sorry, I got a needle in this project and I'm trying to make sure it stays in there. So I needed 55 more stitches to meet my whip go goal and I got those stitches in. I put in part of her um, collar of her dress and um, you can actually see it better in person than you can in the camera. I am stitching this over one on 28 count with one thread and I am using a silk conversion that was um, done for me by Miss Susan Coates. And there she is. And I love her. I actually had um, thought about restarting her, but I think I'm going to um, keep going. I have learned some things about over one stitching that um, will make it easier going forward with this project um, and now that I've learned that it should help more with me um, stitching on it so I and I didn't tell you so for one dozen Quakers I put in a total of 352 stitches and for Tiny Modernist, I needed uh, 52 stitches and I put in 55 stitches to meet my whip go for the month of August. The next project that I worked on was um, for whip go and is also for AB Singo, the letter X. And that is... Blue Rhapsody by Rosewood Manor. And if I have a picture of it, here it is where it was when I last shared it. So for those of you that are new here, I am stitching Blue Rhapsody, but I am stitching it in purple. And I am using two shades of purple. One is a, I'm going to see what happens if I turn this off. Okay, that's better. Um, I am using a um, Silks for You. And I don't know what the number is. I can't find the tag anymore. And I'm using a Vicky Clayton Silk also. And since you've last seen it, I have added the body and the bottom portion of this wing. I also added this little bit here. I put in um, 231 stitches. I'm at 542 stitches, so I still need 158 stitches <laughs> to meet my um, to meet my whip go go for the month of August. This was chosen by um, the Soulful Stitcher Melanie Watkins here on Floss Tube. She also runs the um, Year of Whips and 25/7, and she does all the things. So there is where I am with um, Blue Rhapsody. It will be uh, it will be called again, I believe, on my um, AB Single board so that I can get all of the stitches in. I don't want to go too far um, past August. So if I can get all the stitches in for, and I'm I'm pretty sure I have it in for like X. I use this for the letter or Y, but I use this for the letter X because it has a letter, it, it has the alphabet in it, and so I'll be, you know, eventually at some point I'll be stitching those letters. So that's why I chose it for the letters.
Mm -hmm. I'm stitching this on a 32 count boudoir. Yeah, boudoir by uh, Live and Die LA. Okay. The next project that I'm going to share is my Temperature Turtles. And Temperature Turtles is by Stitching Mommy here on Floss Tube, and she does have an Etsy store. And I am working on the July. And here's a picture of where it was when I last shared it. And here's where it's at now. I am working on the but the July. I I totally slept. Like I don't know where my mind was, why I'm so far behind all of a sudden, but I am on the um, fast track to catching up. Let me just say that because I did not mean to get behind on this project at all. Um, but I have stitched um, 331 stitches in the July turtle. So I still need to finish this portion right here and put his legs on and then July will be complete. It is my plan to do that on Sunday. Um, I don't know for the, well, I know what it was. I didn't take it with me and I was behind anyway. So that's what, that's what ended up happening. So once I get the July turtle in, then I'm going to, of course, move to the August turtle um, and punch them out um, so that I can get caught back up again because I want this to be completed this year. very hot it's very 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 it is it was very hot in all in july it's hot in august too but this is a july turtle and you can see the june turtle was hot too so lots of the same colors being used in both those turtles so i am stitching this on a 32 count like my card oh there it is a 32 count whimsical by be stitch me and i am using a sulky conversion that i came up with for the temperatures okay so next, see what I mean? Now, where did you come from? Sorry, I'm having a conversation with a piece of thread, a piece of floss out of the bag. Okay, so now, uh, okay. Um, next, this next project I stitched with um, I stitched on with Carolyn at her house um, and it is Beautiful Things by Lindy Stitches and if I have a picture here is where it was when I last shared it sometimes I um, didn't have my camera you know with me when I was getting ready to start stitching and so I didn't get to uh, take a picture of the things and here's where I am now so I completely finished outlining this flower here and started filling in and I put in the bird's head all the way down I put in uh, 336 stitches on this 
So I, I started with the outline of his head and then did the fill in. So I put in his eye and, and you know, this part. And then um, did this part and started filling in also. This is being stitched on a 16 count diversity. I'm sorry, 18 count diversity. And I am using the called for floss. I love this piece. Um, I'll be working on it. Um, it's, it's a great mental health um, piece. I'm going to be trying to change things up, I think, next year for, or not just for Mental Health May, but just my stitching period. Um, so we'll, you know, stay tuned for whatever changes may come about. Um, so that I stitched with Carolyn at her house back in the beginning of August. Um, and the next um, project that I worked on was, and I worked on this on the cruise, was Data Portraits in Paris. And here's a picture of where it was, if I have one. And here is where it is now. So I added this part of the graft here, um, these two lines, and the very bottom. This is the bottom of the chart here. So I have another. Let me just pull this out. So I have more to put in here. Yes, I have um, a couple of motifs here to put in still, and then this whole side to put in, and then it'll be completed. This is on my Year of Whips. Year of Whips is a Facebook group ran by Melanie Watkins. Um, she, I um, chose, I don't even know how many, but I'm working on them. to get a finish it seems like I also put this in over here I put in 179 stitches on the day that I worked on this so I'm not sure I know this is new this is new this is new and I'm pretty sure this is also new here but it's coming along nicely. I do um, believe that I can get this finished um, by the end of the year. I'm, you know, every now is in for all the acrostics. I have it in for um, AB Single also, so you'll see it again this month at some point. Um, and it is being stitched on a 28 count spell book and I am using a DMC conversion so that was data portraits in Paris and I worked on that while I was on the cruise another piece that I've worked on I worked on on the cruise and is also for AB Singo it was the lip for AB Singo it was the letter H and that stands for half the fun. And this is a piece that was started with the three of us, me, Miss Shelia, and Miss Margaret, when we went on a cruise together two years ago. And here's a picture of where it is, if I have one, was And here is where it is now. I have added a total of 373 stitches on this piece. And it's all in the middle here. So, 
somewhere over here there is an error and in talking to Miss Shelia um, she suggested that I come down and put in the balloons and work off of the balloons since I know that that's where the center is and that this is all correct so I'm pretty sure that it's all correct. The, the issue is over here. So I'm going to keep going around and then when I get this balloon in, I'm going to go back up and see if I can figure out where I went wrong at. Um, but this is what was what has been added. The three balloons, the sailboat, this middle section here. But before I do any more work coming down this side, what I'll probably do is, is as I'm trying to figure this out, I'll also figure this out, uh, uh, start stitching over here because this is all correct. So I don't know how I have this not correct, but this is correct. I don't know, but and it doesn't matter. And um, what I'm going to do is, is keep coming down. I also have this on my year of whips. It's, it's a guessing game at this point right now. Um, because if I find if I can't find the error, then I don't know that I'll be able to finish it. Because um, again, um, fudging is difficult for me. I'm just putting it out there. Um, so, I mean, I can maybe figure out how to fudge it, but I'd rather not. <laughs> So that is where that is. I'm stitching this on a 16 count Fortnite fabric. I do not remember what the name of it is. And I am using a um, floss by Lee by Roxy Co. called Vampish. And it was fun. We, uh, Miss Shulia worked on hers. I worked on mine. And I'm pretty sure Miss Marga worked on, we like, Ms. Shelia worked on hers the most, but I'm pretty sure that one day we were all three working on them at the same time. And I wish now, like, you know, hindsight is 2020. We should have taken a picture with all three of them together so that we would see where the progress was from, from um, two years ago. You know, when we started it two years ago to today or whenever we stitched on it. Um, and it looks like Miss Shelia may actually get hers finished this year also. So I'm not sure about Miss Margaret, but it'll be interesting to see. I'll have to check with Miss Margaret and see. So that was half the fun. And that was um, for the letter H in AB Singo. And so um, on yesterday, the letter U was called for, or yeah, the letter U was called for yesterday on the 5th. And my letter U, I made up, and it says, you pray without ceasing. And so my um, chart is uh, without ceasing, and this is a prayer. Pray without ceasing. Ah, you know, you got to make it work. Luckily enough, Carolyn and Robin, bless their hearts, they are the co-runners, co-runners, they co-run uh, the Magazine Monthly Challenge group. They are pretty loosey-goosey about rules and all that stuff, so it worked out. And here's a picture of where it was when I last shared it. And I'm going to have to point it out to you, but... Because I only was able to put in 56 stitches, but I did, on this project, I actually put in more than an hour because it is a lot of stop and start. So, there's a stitch right there that I put in, right there that I put in. I put in these two little motify things. I put in that motif. I put in this flower right here, and that totaled up to 56 stitches, and it took me forever. Because it is four stitches and change colors, four stitches and change colors, four stitches and change colors, change colors, change colors. <laughs> ah, I do love it though. It, I um, actually am going to 
put it into the atmosphere that I want this finished this year. This is also on my year of whips. I finished this year, finished this month. Um, it is also on my year of whips. And once I get, so once I get this flower back stitched, there's two more flowers that go right here. I was trying really hard yesterday to stay up long enough to um, get it finished, but it it was just I was like, nope, it's too late. I'm I'm going to bed. So that is where I am with without ceasing. And those are all of my whips for this time. And um that was pretty good for as, as long as I've been gone, I think. Um, so I um, have some plans um, and I'm going to share those with you. I have um, another trip coming up. I will actually be leaving on Wednesday. Um, I'm having a friend's uh, girls trip. Um, we're going to upstate New York. Um, we plan on visiting Hobby House. Um, so that should be fun if you live in the upstate New York area and can um, and Hobby House is your local needle workshop. We will be there on Friday um, from 11 until probably 3 or 4 if you would like to come and visit with us. Um, it'll be um, me, Stitching Goddess Designs Athena. Um, Thread the Needle Stitchery Stacy, Lynn X Stitches Creates, Lynn, um, the uh, Count Twice Stitch Once, um, Melina and Miss Connie, the Apothecary Stitcher, Christine, and Janet, uh, Janet Jabber. We are all friends. We're going on a friend's um friends retreat um and so it should be totally fun i hope i didn't miss anybody janet stacy athena christina miss connie melina oh beth of busy bee stitches will be there janet jabber and me yes nine um so we will all be at Hobby House on Friday starting at 11 a.m. They open at 10. Um, if you are in the area, please feel free to stop by and say hi. We would love to meet you. So I will be doing that. And while we are on that retreat, we are all going to be starting a heart and hand project. And I have chosen two heart and hands um, to start. If you recall from June, I won the um, Honey of a Tiny Town in a gift basket from StitchCon. So I will be starting that. I also uh, won the, the threads were in the basket. So I have the threads and now all I need to do is pick out a uh, fabric for it. And I will be starting a second one because I love this doodles and have been wanting to stitch it. And it is the Christmas doodles. So I will be kitting this up and taking it with me to, um, to the trip, on the trip. I'm also going to be taking all of the AB Singo projects. Um, I've used my Year of Whip projects for AB Singo so that I could get some work in on them and so that's what I'm taking so it'll be about six projects that I'll be taking with me and I'm going to continue keeping up with um, AB Singo so that I can finish strong and hopefully have a few finishes um, I'm not sure if anything is other than without ceasing is, is as close. Um, but, you know, it is a work. You just keep working at it and it'll eventually all get done. That's the way I'm looking at it. 
So now I'm going to take a pause for a second um, and gather all of this up. And then I'm going to come back to you to show you what some of my um, investments were from both um, Acorns and Threads, what was gifted to me on the ship, all of those things. So I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, so let me show you a couple of things before I show you my investments. I um, So for my WIPGO for this month, um, this project was chosen by, um, oh my goodness, Jerrica of the, she is on FlossTube and she is the son Oh, I can look it up. Duh. Um, okay. Daybreak. I'm like, where is it? She is the Daybreak Stitcher. Jerrica. Sorry. Sorry, Jerrica. And she chose Winter Garden by Hello from Liz Matthews. So I will be putting some work in on this. I am stitching this on a 28 count Winter Garden or Winter Creek by a Rogue Stitching. And here is what I have on it so far. It's an awful lot of fabric being wasted, but oh well. Okay, I'm not going to ponder that thought right now. So that was my, uh, that's my first WIPGO project. And then my second WIPGO project was chosen by EJ. And she chose uh, my new, my birthday start that she also purchased for me. And it is the Sweetheart Tree. K is for key. So these are my two WIPGO projects that I'll be working on, um, and I'll be taking those with me also on my trip. And then I wanted to share with you, so today's call for um, AB Singo was the letter J, and my letter J stands for Jacob, and that he is the designer behind Modern Folk Embroidery, and I will be working on the river this is also on my year of whips and I am just doing this inside part with the flowers and the um, urn and I am stitching this on a 14 count evil queen with DMC Blanc So you will see this, um, it is on my year of whips and it is in my AB Singo. So it will be going on the trip with me. And also going on the trip is, these are my uh, AB Singo projects. You've already seen the majority of them. Um, November by Country Cottage Needleworks. This is on my year of whip, so I would like to get it finished. And here's where I am on that so far. So I still have quite a bit to do on this one. But, you know, it's, it's September. Um, I can still pull it all out. I would love it if I could get them all finished. Oh, you know which one I didn't pull. Christmas Elf Fairy. Christmas Elf Fairy is also on my year of whips, but I didn't pull it. I don't know why I didn't pull it. Um, and then Home of a Needleworker. And I should have put this on there because I worked on this while I was gone. 
So let me show you. I sure do. Let me show you where I'm at now. I need to go back and calculate those stitches. Because I worked on this at Carolyn's house. And here's where it is now. Yeah, I put in the door and all of this down here. Um, I finished filling in the middle part here. So, this is also on my year of whips. Yeah, I need to go back in. So, I'm going to set this one aside. I have to come up with a better way when I'm traveling and stitching because I, I didn't want to take my calendar because my calendar is just one more thing to have to keep track of and all of that. And then, like, I was at 40. My luggage, my carry, my check bag was at 43 pounds. Like, I, I was, like, sweating it. <laughs> when I was uh, going back to the airport uh, coming home I was like oh my gosh please 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 don't let it be 50 pounds okay so when I first got there my dear sweet friend had this piece of 46 um, atomic ranch and the name is lavender that she had purchased from Acorns and Threads. And it does have hints of blue in it. So a nice piece of 46 count. Because I am loving 46 count. And then she also thought of me and held this chart back for me and it is sunset is that what the name of this is oh mysteries of the deep isn't that pretty I used to have um, fish that looked like this in my I had a fish tank um, and um, I used to have fish like this so that would be nice I'll have to find me a nice piece of fabric to uh, stitch that on. I have a piece of fabric. I think I, that would work for it too. But it came with all of the threads and the chart and everything. So that'll be fun to work on. Okay, so then after we did that, when I got there, we went to, of course, I had to find, I found a fabric store. Because I can't help myself. Um, haven't sewn in in a year, probably. No, well, yeah, probably. But I'm going to get back into it. I'm, I'm reworking my, my whole, how I do my um, hobbies. Because I miss... Um, crocheting I miss sewing I miss those things um, and so I just need to incorporate more days you know if I didn't have to work I could I could uh, craft all day long and not have a care in the world but unfortunate well not unfortunately fortunately enough I have a house and a car and uh, electric and gas need to be paid for so you know I still got to do that whole work thing but if I didn't have to work, I could, you know, hobby all day long and be just as happy as I wanted to be. So, <laughs> anyway, I don't remember what the name of this uh, quilt store was. Um, it is in Portland, so um, it's not like I, I could go back next year. But, um, but here's some fabrics that I got. So, this, and I purchased enough so that I can make some project bags um, for myself so here is a nice uh, fabric and then there's this watery one and then there is this 
black queens. It's called Own Your Power, and it is by Rashida Coleman Howe, and it is by Riley Blake. I believe this is a Riley Blake Designs. No, it's a uh, Ruby Star Society, and so there are all different kinds of black ladies on there. in different poses then I purchased this um, scissor fabric and then this is a panel that I absolutely fell in love with and Carolyn was like you have got to get that so of course I listened to my friend and I did um, and I am going to see about, so I'm going to stand up because it's actually, it is by Benertex. And that is one part of it. That's the top part of the panel. And then here's the bottom part of the panel. And isn't that beautiful? It, it really um, makes me proud that um, more designers and um, creative people are incorporating African Americans in their work. Um, the fastest way to get my money <laughs> is to incorporate an African-American person in your work and I'm all there for it um, because you know it's not often shown we're not often depicted um, in fabric well we're they've gotten better now um, in fabric in art so it is so wonderful to see when um, a creative puts an African-American person or element into their um, work it, it is wonderful so that was at the quilt store so then the next day we went to acorns and threads and i have got to meet debbie um and she is glitter dove designs on instagram and she presented me with this beautiful card it has all kind of ephemera on it i mean just a work of art um, all of this comes out their little bookmarks um, there's a bookmark up here she is so talented um, it, it was just unbelievable just so talented and then she had in the box this beautiful crochet um, wrap scarf for me so thank you so very much Debbie I love it and now I can finally use it. <laughs> I was like, I can't use it until I show it. But it is beautiful. And it is, um, a, it's a perfect weight for me in the wintertime. Um, so I can use it, you know, just to cover up my shoulders. Because usually that's where all this cold is, like, my little shoulders or whatever. So thank you so very much. I so appreciate you. Um you are a dear friend and I mean that from the bottom of my heart then I got to meet Miss Phyllis she is one of the ladies that stitches with us in the bake me a Quaker style and she gave me all of these different so there's a uh, big paper clips and floss tag rings that I'll be able to use so thank you Miss Phyllis I really appreciate it now I can start using these because I got to start kitting things up and um, that's going to be one of my goals 
going forward is to start kitting projects so that I can, um, or at least kitting them when I'm before I'm getting ready to start them. I kit the whole thing up right when I'm getting ready to start it. So those will definitely come in handy for my floss. And then we went to Acorns and Threads. Again, we were there. Um, and let me show you some of the things that I got there. So one of the things that I purchased was the Annie's Keepers um, for my DMC floss. Um, I'm going to see how this, I'm not going to see how this works. It's going to work wonderfully because I already know how it works. Um, but I'm going to do my DMC first before I try putting my um, over dyed floss on here. Um, and what I might do is just leave my Weeks Dye Works and my Classic Color Works, how I have them stored already. Um, but my one-offs put them in um, that kind of system so that I can keep better track of what I have. Because right now I have everything in all these crates and all of that and I'm trying to combine and condense um, there's nothing wrong. I'm not moving. I don't have to, you know, do all, any of that stuff, but I need a better way to get everything organized in my life and in my <laughs> hobby. So, so then while I was at Acorns also, um, I picked up a few charts and I picked up, I picked up some sulky threads and I don't know why. Um, I can't figure out why I picked them up, but here they go. Um, so Carolyn, if you remember why I picked these up, can you let me know? Because I can't, I don't have a clue. Like I'm totally lost. I picked up this beautiful bag by a uh, Crafty Corey Stitches, and she does bag making for acorns and threads. And do you see that? Isn't that fabulous? And I have already, um, so this was my, one of my bags that I used during, um, while I was on the cruise. And it already has that film, some of the ink on one of the patterns has rubbed off on it. If you know how I can get that off without damaging the bag, can you please let me know? Because I really would like to um, clean it up. I don't want to put something else in here and it mess up my fabric. Um, so, there is that. And then I picked up this Ink Circles. And it's called Entwined. And for those of you that are new here, I'm a big ink circles person. So, um, ink circles and Rosewood Manor and Heart in Hand are probably like my top uh, shaded stitchery too. Like I like them all, but I'm big into all of that. So there's that. I also picked up this from the heart needle art by Wendy and it's called Susan's little sampler and you know how I am about butterflies I picked up this and I also have another Kesslin's and I don't know where it has gone to now I picked up quiet strength so when I find it, I'll show you because I don't know where I, I picked it up and put it down somewhere. Now I don't know where I've put, and put it at, but I picked up this Kesslin's My Creation. And it actually has a bigger, so you can keep um, stitching this. It's just... The, you just keep adding to it and adding to it and adding to it and you can make it as, as big as you want. I picked up this um, Teresa Kogut. I hadn't seen this before. I picked up the Garden of Zig and I'm going to get the Garden of Zag just as soon as I can. 
Um, and I'm looking to get the cottage garden threads for this charge. I need to see if there's somebody that might have it. Okay. And then this Rami's Creation, uh, yeah, Rami's Creations, Deer Beach. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Deer Beach. I need to start stitching some of my beach. You wouldn't believe the amount of beach charts that I have that I, I have not stitched at all. And then um, I have been wanting this for a long, long time and just never pulled the trigger on it. And so I picked up Quicker Bells. And then, of course, you know, uh, Karen Kluga, I picked up O Flutter. And I uh, love this chart. So, oh, you know what? I think I just answered my own question. Yes, that is what. So, these are for this. So at least I know now what they go to. So when I put them in a bag, I'm going to put, put the chart and the floss in a bag so I'll know. Rose with, oh, there was actually a pack. So I'll have to find the other couple of colors that uh, go with them, but... I have a lot of sulky threads, so um, that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so then we got on. Um, so that was all at Acorns and Threads. The Quilt Store. Miss Phyllis. Debbie. So then when we got on the cruise ship. We were presented with um, these bags by Miss Shelia and Miss uh, Margaret. They had them made for us. And they are a great, great bag. Like, this is a great bag. And inside my bag, um, they did give us a lot of um, Miss Shelia and uh, Miss Margaret. They gave us floss tags. Um, they gave us little boxes with sponges in them to um, dampen our floss like um, Jean Farish does. Um, there were all kinds of uh, knickknacks in that in the bag when we first got it. And of course, I've taken all of that out and so now I can't remember. There were scissors, there were pony needles in three different sizes that were donated by... Um, the cross stitch cover yeah so there, there you know there were things full in the bag so then um, other people gave out gifts Miss Gwen gave out floss tags and I they're somewhere I don't wherever that wherever that uh, Kesslin's chart is because I said I was going to use those floss tags we are starting quiet strength um february 1st 2025 so as soon as i find it i'll show it again um because i'm missing a couple of things actually so um sean yes sean made these wonderful little and this is what i needed to be taking notes on so from now on this will be my travel case it, she put in a little floss and then it has room in it for um this is a 24 bow and needle that she put in so it has needle you know a spot for your needles here's a pocket um you can put little scissors in and then uh, uh, yeah and it has felt for the needles and then it has this wonderful pocket back here for um, post-it notes, which is going to come in handy because this is going to be in my travel bag from now on so that I can use this and not have to worry about what my uh, where my um, 
calendar is because I take detail, like I keep detailed record of my stitching. So that is going to come in handy. Then Kathleen um, Snickerdoodle Stitches presented me with this box. And I've taken all of the things out, but it had a little um, girl needle minder, a little black girl needle minder in it. It had a pair of scissors, a needle. Um, it still has, oh, it has, um, what is this? A threader. So thank you so very much, Kathleen. I need to go through here. This is going to be one of my travel cases, too. It is so pretty. I love it. And then I met a nice lady named Miss Holly. And she picked up for me. There was a, a cross-stitch store in Juneau um, that they I couldn't go to because they... Um, I was on a um, excursion, but they all walked to this cross stitch store that also had fabric. So she picked me up this um, mug rug set, and she also picked me up a tile with a turtle on it. But I can't find it. I don't. I don't know where. I you know I packaged it up so that it wouldn't get broken as I traveled. And now I can't seem to put my hands on it. So thank you so very much. She also, um, Holly, uh, also provided me with a bunch of Halloween giveaways for you all. So be staying tuned. I'm going to start giving these away on my next video. Um, only because I'll be leaving out of town and I won't be back until Sunday. So after Sunday when I come back. Not to, not this coming Sunday, next Sunday. When I come back, I'll start giving these away. Some of them are just charts, and some of them actually have fabric with them. So, and it's the complete, there you are, the complete uh, vintage stormy night. They are the complete, some of them are the complete, they are complete sets, and I'm going to give them away as complete sets because um, they turn out so cute um these are from stony creek and you know stony creek does amazing things so like this chart pack that is what it will turn into if you stitch them all together on a piece of banding and you can contact um Stony Creek and they probably still sell the banding for this so she uh, bless her heart she uh, was like I know you don't stitch Halloween but maybe your viewers will stitch Halloween <laughs> and so I said thank you very much I will definitely take this back and um, so there's one packet and then here's another packet like they're, they all are complete sets of um, what's what's in here. So be looking forward to that as we move forward. And now I'm trying to see if there's anything else. And I do not see anything else. So I think I have said everything. I thank you all so very much for your patience and your kindness. Um... I am going to start having more experiences. Um, someone said that to me yesterday. Um, you know, it's great to do things, but enjoy the experience while you're doing it. Um, we can all find, in, in today's world, there's all kinds of problems. Um, but it's nice to just check out for a little while from all the world. Like, I couldn't use my phone. Um... I could only use my phone when we docked. So it wasn't like I was scrolling on Instagram or scrolling on um, Facebook or listening to the news or finding out what was going on. It was good to check out for a little while and just enjoy the experience of being away and um, 
it's it's incredible if you ever get a chance i know there's a lot of people that don't like uh, the thought of being on a boat in the middle of the ocean um i actually love it um so it was it was fabulous I hope that you all are taking very good care of yourself. I know um, a lot of you are still experiencing great heat, so please make sure you're staying hydrated and checking on the elderly in your community. I am doing well. The temperatures have dropped here, and we finally, for the first time in I don't know how long, am getting some rain today. So I am uh, thankful for that because it has been like my leaves are dropping on my trees already because they are in such a drought. So I hope you all take good care of yourselves. I will see you in about a week and a half when I get back from my girls uh, trip and take care and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.